briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case heard by the Supreme Court of Indiana in 1983, Rensing v. Indiana State University Board of Trustees, the court issued a groundbreaking ruling on the status of scholarship recipients, especially student athletes, under the Workmen's Compensation Act. The court ruled that, unless they hold a regular job with the institution in addition to their scholarship, students are not eligible for workmen's compensation. This controversial case emerged from an unfortunate incident involving Fred Rensing, a football player at Indiana State University, who became paralyzed after a practice. In the aftermath, Rensing filed for workmen's compensation only to face rejection. Undeterred by the initial setback, Rensing appealed the decision. His main argument was built around the idea that his scholarship constituted a contract of employment with the university. The court was tasked with the complex mission of determining whether Rensing could be considered as an employee under the university's trustees. Following extensive analysis, the court concluded that Rensing was not an employee. Notably, it found that the scholarship that Rensing received wasn't considered as pay, and pointed out that Rensing did not hold any other job with the university. Interestingly, the Court of Appeals had initially reversed the Industrial Board's decision, offering a glimmer of hope to Rensing. However, this small victory proved to be short-lived as the Supreme Court later reinstated the rejection of Rensing's claim. Ultimately, the Court held that Rensing's financial aid could not be treated as pay or income under the Workmen's Compensation Act, thereby denying him the desired benefits. The Court's decision thus affirmed the Industrial Board's original judgment and set a precedent in cases involving students who are scholarship recipients. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.